All right, welcome to the Pantheler.com signing day special. I'm here with Central Valley defensive tackle, Sean Fitzsimmons. Sean, back-to-back state championships, uh, fresh off back-to-back state championships. And, and I, I wanted to ask you the first question, which one was better? Which state championship was better, last year, the first one, or this year going back-to-back? Um, both of them were very, very special, you know. Uh, both great teams, great teammates on each. But uh, probably uh, this one was more special, you know, senior year, my last game ever playing with uh, Central Valley. So I, I, this one was real special to me. Now, you guys, I mean, you've won. Uh, like, I, I had to look back. It's been a couple seasons since you guys lost a game. Do you remember the last game you lost at Central Valley? Last game we lost was – when I was a sophomore in the state championship versus Wyoming area. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I was like, as I was looking back through it, I'm like, yeah, they didn't lose this year. They didn't lose last year. I wonder if Sean remembers the last time. Do you remember the last regular season game you guys lost? How about that one? I'll, I'll try and was, test you here. That was also my sophomore year. We <laughs> lost to uh, the 4A state champions that year, Thomas Jefferson. That's right. That's right. You guys lost to TJ that year, which if you're going to lose to somebody, I mean, it's, that's a respectable loss. You know what I mean? TJ's yep. like you mentioned, they, they went on and won the state title. So you did all right. All right. You passed the test. You remember your last losses. And I think you guys won about 27 in a row. Can Central Valley yeah. keep this up? I mean, like you mentioned, I mean, you got some seniors on this team like yourself that really led you guys. Can they keep it up and, and extend that win streak? You're at 27. How, how far can they get with that thing? Well, I think they can go as far as they as they want to. You know, it's theirs to lose. I think we got great players coming up. You know, the players will step up. I think the juniors are going to be seniors now. I think they're a great group of guys, and I think they'll be able to do exactly what we did this year and dominate. Mm -hmm. Now, for you, as far as Pitt goes, um, I, I always got the sense when I would, when I talked to you, it seemed like you were kind of a a pit guy you kind of lean toward pit a little bit i mean i think you committed in june took an official visit and all that kind of stuff but how how long has pit been the school that you kind of knew you wanted to go to oh de definitely for a while you know uh going into recruiting i i knew i kind of wanted to stay closer to home so pit being you know right here it, it's just awesome to be able to have that you know uh you know it's 40 30 40 minutes away from my where I live so it's just awesome to be, have that so ever since Pitt offered me you know I kind of knew like oh that's probably where I'm gonna end up and it just worked out perfectly that way and um I'm going to Pitt what you know was it just sort of a, a matter of time until you committed or was there something I, I forget did you commit during the official visit or like around then or how did that go I actually committed in April oh right April okay. so I committed real early because I mean I was waiting around you know because it was still all the they had the COVID rules and all that still I was like yeah I might wait around to take a couple uh visits or whatnot but I just knew you know Pitt is where I wanted to be I didn't want to lose the opportunity if that happened so I just was like you know I want to get a pit commit right there and that's what I did who's your main guy down there like who's the coach you you tend to talk to the most uh, at Pitt I talk to Coach Partridge a lot, and then I also talk to Coach Borba a lot. He's my recruiting coordinator, so I'm always constantly talking with them. I talk to uh, the director of recruiting, Adam Caltori. He's a CV guy. Right. So right. I talk to him a lot, and uh, I talk to Coach Narduzzi. I talk to director of player personnel, Graham, Wil Graham Wilbert, a lot. So I talk to a good amount. Yeah. Yeah. You're in, in with them all. You mentioned coach Partridge. I mean, that, that's your position coach down there is a, a, you know, D line coach, you know, we always hear about him. He's got a great reputation. I mean, what's been your experience uh, with him as far as building a relationship? Oh, uh, coach Partridge is he's the best. You know, he's such a great guy, great coach. You know, we have a great relationship. I'm just so excited to be able to work with him. He's excited to work with me and we just can't wait to get, so to get me up there so we can start just, working and grinding does he uh does he ever compare you to other guys like say you remind him of this d tackle or that d tackle he hasn't uh pointed anyone out specifically but uh yeah i think he he would compare me to good people uh so no one specific that i can remember at least and uh so that's that well, who, you know, is there a D tackle? I mean, there's an obvious answer to this question that everybody would probably give, but is there a D tackle you look at that you're like, 
yeah, that's the kind of player I want to be. I want to play like that guy, or I think I do play like that guy, or I try to play like that guy. You have to try to play like the best D tackle there is, Aaron Donald. That, that yeah. was the obvious <laughs> answer. I thought maybe oh, you'd go, yeah. I thought maybe you'd give something like you know, you'd have some like I don't know a deep pool, you know, like I, I don't know, I don't even know what I Cam Hayward even or something like that. Cam oh, Hayward, a, I love. That's him. like a three four guy though, right? So that's not. Yeah. The, it's not the same, but is, I guess, all right, Aaron, I mean, Aaron's just a freak though. I mean, you know, when you watch football games, do you find yourself, are you always watching the D tackles? Do you always kind of keep an eye on those guys? Oh, well, absolutely. Always looking at the D line, outside linebackers, you know, anybody who's rushing, you know, run stop and all that. That's who I key in on. Cause you know, that's my position. I love watching that stuff, love watching the pass rush and all the moves the technique they do. So yeah, when I watch, I tend to key in on them. Mm hmm. Do you see yourself more as a like a like a three technique? I mean, you put up the stats like you're like a a, a three technique, right? Not just a nose yep. trying to take up a lot of blockers. But I mean, is that kind of how you see yourself? And is that what Pitt sort of sees for you? Yeah, they see me as a three technique D tackle. Uh, you know, I I think I uh, you know play like a three technique. I, I'm just not there to eat up blocks. I, I'm able to move around, you know, make plays. So definitely three tech. Now, I mean, you put up a lot of numbers over the last couple of years. I mean, and you know, mm -hmm. you, you make fabulous 22s and all state teams and all these things. You start to get noticed. You know what I mean? You get a little reputation. Yeah. I'm sure you see a lot of double teams and things like that. But uh, how sort of chippy does it get out there sometimes? I mean, you know, those all linemen don't like to get beat, you know, <laughs> and they don't like to get beat as often as you tend to beat them. I mean, if, if you have, if you found guys taking taking cheap shots sometimes, trying to, you know, cut out your legs, things like that? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, they're always going to get that, the chip chippiness and, you know, not necessarily cheap shots, but you know, the shots coming, like trying to cut me and all that. You're always going to get that, but it's not, it, it wasn't too bad. You know, no, no one's like got, got into like, you know, real bad, like where he's about to like throw down with me or something. <laughs> so I, I mean, that would be, seem to be a bad decision. I mean, you don't really strike me as the type that someone should really want to throw down with, you know? Yeah. That's, that's just me. But uh, so, I mean, as far as, you know, Pitt goes, I, I think, did you go to every home game this season? Did you miss any home games at Pitt this year? I missed the Miami game. I missed. Mm -hmm. I had, uh, I forget what I had on that week, but I couldn't go. But that's, I think that's the only one I missed. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So you saw them all year. Um, you I'm like I keep saying to guys like you commit to a school you want them to have a great season right you want it to be like your yep. school is doing well but you know how was it for you watching kind of week to week as they kept winning and had all the success that they had this season oh it was it was awesome watching them uh you know it was just great week after week they were winning and it just got better and better. And, you know, they're ACC champions. How how much better can that get? You know, it was just awesome watching them. Did, did you, I mean, as a defensive guy, did you, did you appreciate how, I mean, all season, right? It was all about Kenny Pickett. It was all about Jordan Addison. They're scoring 45 points a game. When they win the ACC title game, they win it because their defense just locks them down yeah. for the, was that fun for you to watch as a, as a defensive guy? Oh, absolutely. You know, they were getting interceptions. They got a ton of sacks that game, you know. The, the defense played a great game that that ACC championship in all year. So I, it was just awesome to be able to watch that. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know many guys on the team? Have you gotten some, you know, formed some friendships, relationships with uh, current players on, on Pitt's roster? Yeah, I have. Uh, on my official visit, my uh, host was David Green. Mm -hmm. And me and him, you know, we, we uh, text, you know, on and off every so often, you know, so I built a good one good bond with him you know I, I follow a ton of them on instagram they follow me back so you know we, we, i just built some friendships with them but david green's for sure the closest guy i got up there right now oh cool oh okay and then you're moving in in january right early enrolling i am okay. yep is that something you've been working to for a while like when did you decide you wanted to try and try and make that happen i was thinking about that uh just you know because i knew that was an option always but then on my official visit, you know, they, they had a uh, player conferences, you know, could ask, asking questions and stuff, you know, and there was just a ton of benefits of going early. You know, you get into the program lifting earlier, you learn to place, you start school earlier and all that, get that experience, you get to do a spring ball and uh, 
So I think there's a lot of benefits from going early. So that's why I decided to go. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Well, Sean, hey, I appreciate your time, man. It's been a lot of fun to uh, chat with you. Finally, congratulations on all the championships and the 27 games and all that. Hopefully Thank Central you. Valley can keep that up. And you know, like oh, I yeah. say, I guess we'll uh, we'll see you once you get to Pitt in a, a few weeks, right? Oh, yeah. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you.